Hey everybody, today I want to talk about the hex editor, which is a tool that really makes you feel like a wizard when you're working with binary data. So students usually start out working with text. You start out with Hello World, you start printing things to the terminal, you start reading in text, you write text to files, but at some point, and it can sometimes be a little uncomfortable, students need to start working with binary data, and this, this can cause some issues. So I noticed this first a few years ago when I started teaching networking classes. During the class, I gave my students a bunch of different projects, uh, working on different network protocols. So one of the projects involved HTTP, one of them involved DNS, it was interesting to see that even though the logic for DNS was quite a bit simpler than HTTP, students struggled a lot with it. And part of it is that DNS is a binary protocol where HTTP is text-based and they were familiar with text, not so much with working with binary data. So today I wanna to try to make that a little bit easier. One challenge when you're working with binary data is that you can't just print it out as is to the terminal and read it. You have to do some formatting. You have to reformat it so that it shows up because not all of those bytes are actually printable. And that's where the hex editor comes in. Now there are a lot of different hex editors out there. You could use, if you're on Linux, you might use Ghex, you might use Bless. Those are great text editors that I see students use. In this video, I'm gonna use Hexfiend, which is available on Macs only. I'm also gonna show Hexedit, which is an online hex editor, but it really doesn't matter much which one you use. They're all basically the same with minor differences in how they present the information. So the stuff that I show you on one hex editor will probably translate pretty well to any other hex editor you choose to use. The basic format for a hex editor follows the output format from the hex dump utility. Hex dump is available on pretty much any modern computing platform, uh, so it should be available to you. And the output looks something like this. So you'll notice that it's divided into three columns. On the left, you see the offset of each row in the file. In the middle, you see the bytes in hexadecimal format. And on the right is the text representation of the bytes. In this example, we're looking at a text file, so all of the bytes are showing up on the right. If we look at an audio file like this, on the other hand, only the printable characters show up. The others show up just as a period because they're not printable. The great thing about the hex editor is that it shows you this information simultaneously in both formats. So you can still read any text that's in there, it's just gonna be text, but you can easily comb through the non-printable ones and zeros that are also in that file. So this is an audio file, which you'd expect to be, of course, it's gonna have binary audio signals, but there's also a bunch of metadata in the front of the file and that does contain some text. So if we look off to the side, we can actually see some of the metadata that's contained that tells us about how this was recorded. So if that's what I'm looking for, I can easily read it on the right. Now, once we get down into the actual audio data, I'm gonna focus really in the middle here because you notice that everything is switched to binary signals, and so that's really gonna be what's most helpful to me at this point. So a great thing about Hexedit is this data inspector on the left. Since binary data doesn't have any inherent type, it can really be anything. This, this little panel over here lets us see what these bytes will mean if we interpret them different ways. We, you know, we might interpret them as a two byte integer or a four byte int or a float. We can look at them as, as being signed or unsigned, big endian or little endian. We can also come in here and we can modify the raw bytes or change the interpreted values and it'll be updated appropriately. And, and this just gives us a really powerful way to manipulate this binary data and to read and, and look through and actually understand what's in this file. So that's it folks, hex editors are super handy tools that a lot of students don't know about, but as of today, you are not one of those students and you'll be ready next time you have some binary data that you need to manipulate or inspect. All right, that's all. And uh, until next time, I'll see you later. Hey folks, are you finding these videos useful? If you are, I hope you'll let me know by liking or subscribing. If there are things that you'd like to see more of, or if you have questions that you think I might be able to answer, please let me know. Post a comment, send me email, send a carrier pigeon, drop by my office, whatever. But please, yeah, let me know. If there are questions you have, if there are things you think I should cover, let me know and I, I'll see what I can do.